for this first graph, what's the parent function for this graph? Linear. linear. So, oops. So this should be on your, the row for your linear one. And what, were, what is the domain and range for this? Positive. And same for the range, correct? So these are not necessarily in the order that they are in your paper. I'm just using the graphs. What is this? What's the second one? Going to the right. Cubic. And domain and range. For both, right? Okay, the next one. Rational. And if you put reciprocal, that's okay also. Okay, this one has been shifted to the left. So I told you, you kind of just have to um, make a guess as to where that is. What did y'all use for this vertical asymptote? I can't read that. Is that what, about negative two? Is that what that is? So if that's negative two, then the domain is, oh, hang on, where's the eraser? Negative infinity to negative two. Um, actually not this time because it won't ever be negative two. Because that's why it has a vertical asymptote. And then union from negative two to positive infinity. If it were actually touching the negative two, it would be a bracket. Okay. But in this case, it will never be negative two because the reason it's ne the reason the vertical asymptote is there is because that would make it zero in the denominator. Now it looks like on this one, I would have preferred a different graph. It looks like because isn't that a different scale? What did you use for this horizontal asymptote here? Because it looks to me like that's also negative two, but. Oh, no. Yeah, because the scale looks a little different. I don't know. What did you use? Did you use negative 2 or did you use negative 1? Negative 2. Negative 2. So if you use negative 2 for this horizontal asymptote here. Oh, you can't see me move the pen. That's interesting. All right. If you, for, this, for this axis, this line here, if you use negative 2 for that, then the range is going to look just like this. I mean, you should have it written twice, but I don't have enough room. So now I move this over, does it, nope, I have to stop drawing. And then start drawing. So then what's, what is the parent function for the one here on the right? For the parabola, quadratic, yes. And its domain is also the all real numbers. But its range is different. What is the range for this one? Bracket one, yes, to infinity. So here we have the bracket because it is touching at, at y equals one. All right. The next row is cubic, no not cubic, what did you say? Cube root. Cube root, that's right. And its domain and range are the all real numbers, so negative infinity to infinity and the range. What is the parent function for the next one? This constant. And I'm assuming this is the line that we're talking about here. So this is the constant function. 
And the domain, it's going left and right forever. But what is the range? Um, y equals what, whatever you call it. Well, it looks like it's above zero, so it must be positive. So positive two. What about the next one? Do you recognize this function? Logarithmic. Logarithmic, yes. And domain is what? Zero comma, Zero comma infinity. That's what it looks like to me as best I can tell from that tiny picture. If, if you think this has been shifted right because of whatever you read for that scale, then as long as it's labeled on here, I wouldn't count it wrong. But on a test, they'll be more clear. So then what is the range? Because it can't ever be zero. It'll get closer and closer to it. Just a, a logarithmic a logarithmic function has a vertical asymptote and an exponential function has a horizontal asymptote. So then the range is all real numbers though because it goes, it keeps going down and it keeps going up. I mean, it doesn't look like it keeps going up because it's very, very slow, but it does keep going up. Okay, the last one here on the right Absolute value, I'll write it here, there's not much room there. And the domain is all real numbers, so that's the negative infinity to positive infinity. But what is the range? Bracket and what? Because cause this, cause this looks like a 20, so that is probably 10. And then to infinity. Any questions about those? Okay, I think you guys have this. No, I, ha I have to let, can anybody still copying this one? Because I have to slide it up. When I do, those words will go away. I had a five minute lesson on how to use this this morning. So again, I'm, I'm testing it on you. All right, can I pause? So this one is exponential and the bottom one is square root. Okay, domain on the exponential is all reals. Range is, where did you decide the, the horizontal asymptote is on this one? It looks like it's been moved up. I don't see the scale. It looks like the scale got cut off. So did you just create your own scale? Yeah. So what do you want to call it? I don't care. Positive two. Positive two. And it won't ever be that. So we have a parenthesis. So we're assuming this line right along here, this line is positive too. That doesn't look like an arrow either. And then the square root, the domain, what is this? What is that value right there? Hmm? What does that look like to you? About eight or nine. So it will be that value. So we'll call it nine then to infinity. And then that's the domain. And then the range is that appears to be the x axis. So the range is zero to infinity. So that's all of them then, right? Okay. Um.